Hello guys, uh, I'm Zatar Al Khan back with another video. Uh, today in this video we are going to discuss how to model splines. Before we begin our modeling, we will discuss what is a spline and uh, where they are used. Splines are a mating feature for rotating elements such as ridges or teeth on a drive shaft that mesh with grooves in a mating piece and transfer torque. So the basic purpose of splines are to transfer torque and they do this by meshing with grooves uh, on a drive shaft or any rotating element. An example can be a gear mounted on a shaft using a male spline on the shaft that matches with a female spline on the gear. I will show you a picture showcasing this example. As you can see, uh, this uh, these are the male gears of the shaft. There needs to be meshed with the mounted with the female uh, female splines of the gear. This will ensure a solid contact, and through this, the spline the spline shaft will transmit torque to this gear. And this was the introductory. Now let's close this picture. So now for the parameters involved in modeling, uh, let's see. Look into the parameter. The first one is a spline diameter. The second one is a spline number. Spline number is the number of splines that we are going to construct. These are the number of splines. All right. The third one is the shaft length, and the fourth one is the teeth length. Let's close this file and start a Creo model. Select new, uncheck the default template, give this file a name. I will use s underscore one. Select part and press OK. Over here, we are going to use millimeters unit system because we are going to work in millimeters right now before we begin let me open the notepad for this splines relations these are the parameters and relations that we are going to use along with the chamfer and round first we are going to input parameter and then we are going to input the relations as always in any of our modeling videos let's input the parameters first open the parameters folder let me get this out of there okay click on tools click on parameters and click now input the parameters okay, click on plus and click spline underscore diameter give this a value of 10 millimeters then add spline underscore number give this a value of 16 and the type B and pressure and another parameter of shaft length give this a value of 20 millimeters and add another parameter of teeth length give this a value of 10 millimeters <coughs> press OK <coughs> now for the second part we will input the relations as always I will provide this file in the description you can download it from the google drive at any of the available time let's copy and paste this relation verify this relation the relation will be successfully verified press ok select ok now go back to model Click on the front pane and click sketch. Go into the sketch view, sketch a circle, give the value of the diameter as spline diameter. Spline diameter. Press OK. And now give it another sketch. Use the previous plane. This time sketch another circle. Give the value as D simple D press OK then again we need to make a sketch now for this sketch 2 we will rename this sketch as the shaft after 
then again you sketch using the previous plane we're going to sketch the teeth of the shop for that select line and sketch a random line a parallel line to the axis just follow my lead in the now project this curve close this thing now delete the extra lines from here and here now make a sketch line from the center of the body select the sketch part and mirror the sketch part over the center line and give the the top value as the width w and the height as h just an h press ok rename the sketch as teeth now we need to extrude the shaft and teeth first we are going to extrude shaft click on extrude make sure that the extrude is symmetric by clicking the second option give the value of extrude as shaft length press ok then again we need to extrude the teeth click on teeth and click extrude make sure the extrude is symmetric give this a value of teeth length press enter click ok as you can see a shaft with the along with the teeth is now been made now we will add a chamfer of 0 0.2 and a round of 0 0.1 let's add the chamfer and round separately select the edges of the top of the teeth by pressing control select chamfer and give this a value of 0 0.2 click ok now select the bottom edges of the teeth by holding control click on round and give this a value of 0 0.1 click ok now in the model tree select the round chamfer and extrude 2 by holding down shift now uh, an option appears as make local group click this option and rename this group as teeth what the what this function does as uh, the function will uh, input the make the extrude the main body and the chamfers as a single folder that will help us in easily patterning this whole teeth over the body of the shaft you now turn turn off all the displays except the axis display click on the gear local tool and click on pattern 3d pattern change the dimension from dimension to axis select the axis divide them over 360 and input the number of splines that we want to create that are 16 press ok as you can see our spline is now complete now a final step remains we will relate the pattern to the input parameter of spline number to do that we need to double click on the teeth then we need to go to tools select relations press enter we are going to relation, add relation to this end line select on switch dimension and double click on this gear as you can see we need to add this end dimension click on switch dimension then click on this P16 press equals to then enter spl spline number spline 
underscore number it's nine underscore number press the verification all right there is a error we need to see what the error is for that we will go back to parameters spline number okay the spline number value has been given as 0 that is wrong that needs to be 16 press ok go back to relations press enter double click on the teeth select p16 press equals to and write spline number click the verification box Verifi the relation will be successfully verified we have corrected the error so from this exercise we have learned that while relating the pattern to the parameters we need to check the spellings and also the values of the parameters themselves press ok and close the prompt go back to model now to, in order to check that our parameters are working we need to go to back parameters then we, to, we need to change the number of splines from 16 to 5 let's see what is the effect press ok go back to model and regenerate the spine as you can see the number of splines are made automatically by the system as 5 according to the input parameters you can also check uh, the input parameter by editing the pattern as you can see the input parameters are now linked the pattern is now linked to the input parameters as 5 select ok go back to two parameters change the number of splines to back to 16 press ok go back to model and regenerate as you can see our spline is now complete along with the relation of pattern to the input parameters so stay tuned guys we are going uh, in the next video i am going to construct a spine in helical gear so till next time goodbye